Hi, it's Joe from WHR Marketing, and today we're going to focus on our SEMrush domain analysis. Okay, um, if you head over to here, so just click domain analysis overview. Okay, we can do it two ways. We can focus as if this is our business, or we can look at a competitor's. So the other day, I don't know why, but I bought some indoor plants. Okay so that was from patch plants very happy with their website okay and their service so we can pretend we are patch plants or we can pretend we are competing with patch plants so that we are selling flowers for example or plants okay so if we go to domain analysis the overview will show us the authority score okay so this is 43 which is a decent website okay so it that would show me with all these keywords they're ranking for that shows me it must be quite a young website because they're ranking for a lot of keywords which is amazing for an okay authority score um, so if you go down here if we go all time yeah we can see the website is under two years old okay so this over time I would expect by about year five or year six this will be a, an extremely high authority score right the next part is the organic search traffic um, they are ranking for 10.6 thousand keywords that's a lot of keywords for a website under two years old okay um, they haven't got anything on page search traffic and they've got 5.4 thousand backlinks uh, linking back to it and they've got 11 published display advertising sets um, and we'll go into all of those in a second um, so if we start with organic research so this is on US at the moment we can change that to UK or whatever country you're, you want to target okay so in the US there's they're ranking for 7.2 thousand keywords and that's bringing in over 10,000 visitors a month okay so look at that 5,000 over five thousand dollars worth of traffic just through their uh, keywords uh, ranking on Google and other search engines okay then you can see the branded traffic that means um, keywords with their name in it so patch plants and non-branded uh, traffic uh, that's for keywords without their name for example uh, devil's ivy as we can see here and Chinese money plant which happens to be one of the plants I bought the other day um, so if we click here so view all 7.2 organic uh, thousand organic keywords okay this is where it gets interesting so we can use SEMrush okay to rank by positions so we can see all the number one or page one ranking so anything from one to ten that patch plants is ranking for so again let's let's pretend we are competing with patch plants okay so well they have got so many keywords that it looks like on uh, page one of Google so let's we can we can do this position let's go top 10 because then we know they're all on on Google page one well they've got four pages of keywords on page one which is amazing so look 338 keywords that are on page one of Google okay so how how are we going to compete with something like patch plants okay if we are selling plants ourselves First of all, it's going to be difficult, but there will be a way. So let's take away this filter again, and I want to show you something else. If you're if you're a new website or you don't have the authority of someone like Patch Plants, then what you want to do is first of all you want to make a note of all of these keywords that um, Patch Plants ranking for. Okay, and you can easily do that by pressing Export, which will take that to an Excel document. But what you want to do okay oh. what have I done there what you want to do is use the advanced 
advanced filter and you want to exclude keyword difficulty which is greater than and I would say if you're just starting out you don't want anything greater than 60 if you're if you're targeting keywords greater than 60 when you've just started out it's going to be very difficult to rank okay um, what I like to do as well is include a cost per click um, greater than one dollar because if you've got um, if you've got keywords that have higher than a dollar cost per click it means they're probably profitable keywords so we want low competition so low keyword difficulty but we want the cost per click um, being higher than a dollar so that will now look we've got 23 keywords that we could target which will be in our sort of competitive level so we can do a range of things if we look here we can we can change the keyword difficulty we'll rank it by keyword difficulty if I press it again okay so we could start making a note of all of these long tail keywords okay so long tail keywords are keywords that are low competitive but highly profitable so if you look here really low keyword difficulty okay but the cost per click okay if someone was paying for a click on that they would be happy to pay four dollars twenty nine okay which to me shows that this is probably a profitable keyword so office plant service near me so if you build some content okay with that as the keyword main keyword okay then you'll get lots of searches and it'll, you'll, you've got a higher possibility of ranking on page one of Google office plant service plant delivery Dublin okay so if you're in Dublin uh, that looks like a very easy keyword to rank for okay and anyone who lives in Dublin would, would be typing in keywords such as that but then you can change it to your own location plant delivery London wherever your base okay if you focus on your location at the end of plant delivery okay then these are words that are highly highly um, or sorry very easy to rank for and you can go through all of these so if I was if we were a plant business I'd be making a note on lots of those keywords um, for what we could rank for um, easier than anything above keyword difficulty 60% okay right the next thing we'd want to search for is backlinks okay so we can see they've got over 5,000 backlinks from over 1,000 uh, referring domains so this is a really good tool okay uh, backlinks are so important when it comes to ranking and SEO so um, I can see here with the anchors that patch plants are really working on their backlinks and that's probably why um, they're doing so well with their, their, their um, the amount of keywords they've got on page one because I can see they've got a diverse range of backlinks they've got brand names website names um, they have naked anchors they have URL anchors um, they have keywords within their anchor text and they've got their brand name they, they're doing all the right things when it comes to backlinks it looks like from this so what we can do with this we can we can press on these backlinks here and what SEMrush will do they will rank the backlinks by the page authority score so here the higher is the higher the rank on here closer to a hundred okay the better the authority of those links okay so what we can do we can see we can see the URL that this is going to on patch plant so you can click here if you want to go to that URL oh that's a 404 this is a really interesting one if that's a 404 okay and that's not working that means you could reach out to this website and say hi I've noticed that that you had a link to one of the plant pages and there's an error coming up which will affect your website um, we have a similar item here can you link to our article instead or as well as that one okay and that's a good way of reaching out for backlinks okay with a high authority website so you can see the website there right we can go we can keep going through 
you can here you can see the anchor text they've used look there's a real diverse range of links so you've got URLs you've got keywords patch fronts you've got brand names and so on so with SEMrush like I said I would look up my competitors backlinks okay and I would start to go through all of these I'll check the link back to their website check if there's any errors okay and I'd also check to see if any of my content or my products are relevant to um, the the source pages and then I'd reach out to them and say hi I really like your content um, it'd be great if you could link back to um, this product on my website or this uh, article as it really help your audience and so on yeah so have a look you can you can see what you need to do here You've got your backlinks your anchors like I said you need to build a real diverse range of anchors uh, when it comes to backlinks not just keyword stuffing and you've got all of this I won't go into that uh, the ref you've got the referring domains the competitors and so on competitors we'll get to in another video um, let's check if they've got anything on advertising research right so nothing on the U US but we can see here they're really pushing their advertising in the UK okay right this shows okay some of the things they're advertising for they're focusing on 10 keywords okay and the traffic cost is one point two thousand dollars so that shows to me that these 10 keywords are really profitable to patch plants so we can see indoor plants house plants plants online UK if we were based in the UK if we were um, using Google AdWords or any people uh, pay-per-click services then we can see that these words are probably uh, the keywords we should target if we are selling plants too and what's really really interesting you can hover over the ad and it will show you the the ad text so uh, when you create your own Google Ads words you can make something similar but enhance it obviously make it more relevant to your own website okay but you can see what's worked for patch plants you can see the amount of traffic they brought in and here you can see how much they've spent so they've spent five hundred and seventy one dollars on the keyword indoor plants okay at a cost per click of thirty uh, cents really interesting data that is and again we've got more PPC research here so you've had the Google advert uh, advertising research there let's see if they've got anything in the UK they seem to be putting their PPC focus more in the UK than the US here we go we've got 1.4 thousand uh, keywords they've used for PPC and they've got 91 different ads you can see the price they've paid um, sorry this price here is the price of their product okay so if I clicked on there it would take me to this product so the keywords they've been targeting plants indoor plants house plants okay and they've linked these straight to a product so if I hopefully if I go here for indoor plants we can see the landing page and again we can make something similar and then enhance it okay it's a really nice website though patch plants I do I really do like them okay we can see how clean and clear the landing page is and we would know we would need to make our website um, at the same high quality display advertising let's see some sometimes obviously they don't use display advertising they, they, here we go they do though so they've had 11 ads okay and this is interesting because you can see the audience targeting we can see um, most of the audience are actually males probably buying flowers for female then we can see the age range 25 to 34 okay or 35 to 41 uh, four are the main two ages they've targeted and we can see they've used no image ads they've used all text ads and all these text ads are here for you okay so again you can copy and enhance those um, those text ads and you can see the publishers where they've um, put these ads for their PPC campaigns okay so you could reach out to them 
if you think that's going to be a profitable um, website to to put your display ads on that's the end of our first SEMrush uh, video in this series on the power of using SEMrush okay so I've got lots of videos that are going to come uh, based on SEMrush if you prefer reading articles rather than um, watching videos we've got an amazing SEMrush review which I'll put in the link uh, below we are an SEO agency so at the moment we're offering a free online business support to help you get more customers clients and sales uh, we usually charge $149.99 but it's going to be completely free and all you need to put is your name your email and your website and we'll do a manual and an automated report of your website and tell you anything um, that you need to improve uh, to get more yeah more traffic more sales more clients more profit okay uh, please subscribe and like the video. I'm Joe from WHR Marketing. See you next time.